Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's do a little update on some of these stories with the Maui fires. Look, I have been out sick. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my face. I've been very congested. So it's taken me some time and I've taken some time to, you know, get a little bit better before I start talking about all of this situation with Maui. Now, now, Jeremy Lee recently did an update on his investigation with the Maui fires. There was a mom of three who was essentially stuck on this gridlock and you could see these sparks and fires and, you know, all the stuff flying all over the place. And then the, the pitch black clouds that were coming through with the smoke, right? She was able to see that. She was able to record that. And she talked about the fact that she received a notification to evacuate, but the notification came like way, way later, like way too late to even be able to actually evacuate this area. Right. And the other thing that we need to point out is this interesting situation. Only certain residents received this notification. Not everybody, just certain residents. Why? Let's look into Jeremy's reporting, okay? She was stuck in gridlock. The mother and her three kids ended up there after they were unable to access Highway 30 in either direction at Lahaina Luna Road. There was a police officer at the bottom. There was cones blocking and the line of traffic I was in continued straight down the Hainaluna Road headed towards Front Street. I don't get it. They had enough time to put cones, right? To basically trap everybody in there. That's what it seems like to me. One one emergency. How can I help you? We're on Front Street in Baker. There are a bunch of cars stuck in traffic down here and the structures around us are on fire. Oh no, fire. You were just stuck. There was nowhere to go and there was no help. Noah Lani Tot took video of Baker Street as the fire moved within one block of Front Street. By about 4.10, we get to Baker Street. At 417 is when we got that emergency alert. The text message Noah Lani received from Maui Emergency Management reads, evacuation order issued on Maui Island for Kilauea Mauka subdivision in Lahaina, a neighborhood a mile away. You are not safe. You gotta find some way to get to the ocean. The mother of three says she even started contemplating going into the water as traffic stalled and conditions worsened. By 424, we are engulfed in black smoke. You can't see more than four cars ahead of you. Sparks start engulfing the car, shooting sideways across next to the car. This is so scary. Shortly after that is when the parking garage at the outlet mall went up. Okay. And nobody was there actively fighting the fire. Firefighters were seen here a mile away at 4.46 p.m. by Tamuras in the industrial complex. Meanwhile, Front Street becomes engulfed. My five-year-old just cried the entire the entire time. Oh no, what do we do now? And it wasn't until after we got to like behind Safeway where he could see a little bit of blue skies that finally he fell asleep too because he was just so tired. There were so many people behind me that I have no idea whether or not they survived. And that is the problem. We don't know who survived and who didn't. We've been saying this over and over. I feel like I sound like a broken machine at this point. Um, and a lot of y'all in the comments have been saying that too. Like, Rabbit, we don't know if these numbers are accurate. We don't know what's going on. And these are legit questions that everybody should be asking. We should all be wondering, like, does any of this make sense? When the uh, Hawaii House of Representatives spoke out, she also was in trouble for saying something. Why? Several weeks after this happened, we still don't have a lot of answers. More questions, right? Noah Lani Tot is still asking the question so many other survivors are. Why was an incoming traffic contraflowed? Why was Highway 30 shut for at least two and a half hours? I mean, at that point, it just seems like you need to use the biggest roads to get the most people out. Ended up getting all the way to the end where you could have tried to get out and then there was police officers there in cones. And how was it a wider text alert didn't go out with this advice 911 operators offered to evacuees? Just get out of Lahaina. Oh, the entire city? The entire city, yes. Just get out of Lahaina. Keep it here this week on KITV4 Island News. We have new surprising details about this text. And we asked the county, why does it only mention one neighborhood? To find out more about this story, go to KITV.com. Jeremy Lee reporting. She got it. It's very interesting about the text, right? 
that's definitely the concern and the question. So somebody in the comments said, Hawaii time alert system freaking late. That alert should have gone out at 7 a.m. in the morning when the first fire began at what apparently was put out around 10-ish. Who the hell is controlling the text alerts? Unfortunately, Herman Andaya resigned, so we will not get any answers. I don't I'm sure that there was probably some health concerns as to why that man resigned, but I don't I feel like that there's a lot more to that story than what Herman and Daya, his resignation and all that happened. Um and what's been put out there already, personally. That's how I see it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments about this whole situation as we're still covering it. Make sure you're hitting that like button and you're subscribing, guys. I have been sick. I had to take some time to recuperate before I went back to working on my uploads. But let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Rabbits out.